Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. We've got a new review. This is one of the latest Comicsology originals to be released. It's part of their huge announcement that not just announced new comics, but also print on demand. Now, we've, of course, got the printed version of Savage Game, uh, but I've also read the digital version as well. So I want to review this. We're going to go through and review all the releases eventually, but we'll start with this one. Why? Because we got a review copy and a physical one at that, which, you know, way easier to do reviews on video than to have to talk about digital stuff. Um, so, I've read this digitally, I've read this physically, and, uh, you know, it's actually, I think, a really, really good comic. Uh, before we get into the review, it's uh, written by Sean Kittleson, it's art and colors by Chris B. Murray, lettering by Simon Bolin, created by Ryan Khalil, edited by Sherer Filati, and story editing by Dan Hess. Uh, so, Savage Game, how do I describe it? I would say it's kind of like Battle Royale and uh, Pokemon meet up. Uh, basically, an island of Dr. Moreau-ish sort of thing. Uh, a son is recalled by his father, uh, who is unveiling a really big thing. All kinds of science uh, thrown out there. Some crazy concepts, some crazy animals, and it's actually really entertaining. Now, this is very much a Fight Club-esque sort of story in that you get to the ending and the buildings topple, and you want to know what happens next, you know, hopefully we'll get more, but obviously that probably depends on the reaction to this first volume uh, that's been released. And uh, it's good. Like, it basically, to me, science fiction uh, can do many things. I think one of the most powerful things about science fiction is the fact that it has the ability to take on and discuss real-world issues and real-world topics and wrap it up in an entertaining package. Obviously, Star Trek is famous for doing that sort of thing, and here we get the, that as well. I mean, there's all kinds of questions about the ethics of manipulating uh, animals. We, of course, have the evil corporation, and uh, not so much a big moral dilemma or anything like that, but just, you know, the usual thing is a uh, relationship between a father and son that we've seen in so many different things, uh, different forms of entertainment. This does a really good job of kind of wrapping all that up into a very interesting story. Um, I think it, it uh, you know, it's got some layers to it. Of course, could take it at the level of just the simple of uh, big giant animals beating the crap out of each other. You could dial a little bit more into it, and uh, you know, maybe pick some stuff up here and there to have some pretty interesting discussions with. Um, as far as the art itself, I like it. It's some, it's you know, some solid indie work. Some really cool visuals. Um, let's see if we can get. We'll do an image of uh, one of the animals. There we go show off some of the animals that you can get in there. There are cars, crazy mock-ups of uh, real-world animals, and, you know, this is kind of ripe for doing some sort of uh, game based off of it. I'd love to see, like, a card game or something of that sort. Uh, you know, and, well, the, you already got the title, Savage Games. Not really all that difficult to spin it off. Uh, but overall, like, I, I enjoy it. It's, it's a solid read. It's really entertaining. Uh, you know, as far as, you know, a, a original comic, indie comic, this is, is, you know, the type of stuff I'd expect. Um, you know, definitely shows a lot of promise to see going forward. Sets up the world and everything really, really well. Uh, you know, of course, I would like to see more. It seems to be a little bit abrupt, but there's a lot to it. Um, that's probably my only bad thing about it. I would have actually liked to see more of this. A real thick graphic novel would have been excellent. It could have explored a lot more, explored some of the relationships dove a bit more into, like, the whole genetics and animals and gone, like, a slightly Jurassic Park on it all. Uh, but, yeah, that's kind of, like, my only uh, my only real criticism of it is I don't want to call it thin because that's just not proper, but it's it's short. Like, it definitely could be more of it. Uh, and that's a good thing. You know, if you're reading something and you want more of it, uh, you know, that means you're generally enjoying it. So art's solid, the story's solid, definitely worth checking out, and I think this is what's really cool about this sort of stuff in the Comixology Originals, is the fact that if you already have Kindle Unlimited, or Amazon Prime, or Comixology Unlimited, you don't have to pay for this. This is an added bonus for all that stuff. You get to read these original comics as part of your subscription. Uh, you can, of course, buy these uh, digitally, all the Comixology Originals. You can, of course, buy the Comixology Originals, uh, digitally, or if you like subscribe and all that, you're going to be able to read them there. Uh, the fact that I can actually read them through my Amazon Prime, I think is awesome. That's an added bonus, something I was not expected. Uh, so I'm really happy that they did that as part of it. And you can go check out all the new Comixology originals through Amazon Prime. I've checked it out. You can read them. It's awesome. 
Uh, the fact that you can do it is is fantastic, and that's pretty much that's where I'm going to be reading them. I am a Prime member, uh, so yeah. Uh, but beyond that, obviously, I'm paying for Prime. But Comixology hooked me up with this printed copy. Uh, you know, we like to be nice and transparent as far as that. Uh, we're gonna have some links underneath this. You obviously can't get in your comic shop. It's all digital or already print on demand through Amazon. Really cool thing about uh, the Comixology originals is they're doing print on demand for some of the comics. Uh, so yeah, like we're gonna have links beneath this video. They, I guess there'll be affiliate links because it's Amazon, so you can go check it out with affiliate links. We do get a small percentage of that. I have no idea what the hell you would get if you're already like a Kindle Unlimited or or, or Prime member or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but by doing that, you do support our site. Of course, I want to thank Comixology again for hooking me up with this. We've already discussed the printing of this book, and I think the printing is excellent. If you're going to go between the two, um, you, you don't miss out either way. Uh, the, the printed material, I think, is really, really good. The cover, the pages, the, the way things look, it all, to me, is top-notch. This is I've, I've got tons of comics that look like this in my collection, so I know there are some concerns about that. Uh, but you can go get this now. Again, if you've got uh, Kindle Unlimited, if you've got Comixology Unlimited, if you've got Amazon Prime, you can read this now on the spot with no cost uh, on top of all of those. It's part of your membership. So really, really cool added bonus for us com uh, comic book fans. So until next time, now if you're into digital comics, if you're into comic books in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, making it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.